This is how you can fix FPS drops and boost FPS in any game that you play, whether it be Fortnite, Valorant, Call of Duty, even Minecraft or any other games that you might be playing on your PC. You can go ahead and use these tweaks and methods in order to boost FPS, fix any FPS drops, lags or stutters and even get lower ping. Hey everyone, it's Rek here and welcome back to another video and today I'm gonna be showing you guys how you can easily use the pack that I provide you in order to boost FPS, fix FPS drops and remove any lags or stutters inside of the games that you play. But before jumping into the video, just make sure to leave a quick like on the video so that it can reach more people and help them as well and make sure to hit the subscribe button so that you get notified whenever I upload a brand new video. With that, let's dive straight into today's video. So the very first thing that you wanna do is go down into the description of this video and download the Ultimate FPS Pack 2023 from my website. The website does contain a few ads but you can easily close them when they open in a new tab and make sure to click the red download button in order to download the pack. So once the pack has been downloaded, all you need to do is right click on it and extract it using 7-zip, FinRAR or whatever you want and then go ahead and open it up. Inside of here, the first folder contains the credits for all of the tweaks that are present inside of here as they are from the Major Geeks website. So yeah, you can go ahead and check out the individual tweaks from there but I have compiled some of the best tweaks inside of here in this folder. So what you need to do is open up the auto maintenance folder first and then go ahead and disable the automatic maintenance. The reason we are going to be doing this is because we don't want the windows to be running maintenance tasks while we are playing games which causes a lot of hitches and lags inside of the game. So we're going to be going ahead and disabling the automatic maintenance all you need to do is just double click on it hit yes and then hit ok you can always go ahead and revert this pack to enabled if you feel like so once you're done with this go back into the pack and open up the csrss now inside of here you will again find two things one is the default and the other one is the tweaked now this is actually kind of interesting because for some people the default one will work better for others the tweaked one will work better however i do recommend you to use the tweaked one first just go ahead double click on it hit yes hit ok play your game and if you see any noticeable difference then you can always go ahead and change to default or if you like the tweaked one just keep it that then go back into the pack and open up the hibernation now this one is really important and what you want to do is just go ahead and disable hibernation and hit yes hit ok this tweak is highly recommended even when you just install your windows for a post installation guide but if you haven't done it yet just go ahead and disable hibernation i'm like 100 percent sure you won't ever need it what you need to do is then go back into the pack and open up the remove runtime broker now what this will do is if i open up my task manager i'm pretty sure i have already disabled it but you will always find a process like this one. Oh, i haven't removed it in this windows so yeah you can see that it's right there and all you need to do is just right click on it run it as administrator and for some reason the access is denied for me i'm pretty sure it's because of the settings that i had changed previously but if i open up the task manager you guys will see that it's no longer there it has been removed from here even though it did say access denied but it does close the process so yeah it's going to go ahead and free up some of the cpu usage as well as increase a little bit of the windows performance so go back into the pack once more and will open up the screen Savers. This one is pretty obvious. Just go ahead and disable screen savers. I don't know if you guys even use them these days, but it's just always handy to have them disabled. Go back into the pack and open up the task manager one. Now, this one is really interesting because you only want to disable task manager if you have an alternative. You can always go ahead and search the task manager alternatives online, and they are much better than the Windows task manager that comes pre installed with the Windows. So, yeah, just go ahead and disable task manager. Since I'm not using any alternative, I'm not gonna go ahead and do it right now, but yeah, you can always go ahead and look up the alternatives to task manager and then disable it going back into the pack once more open up the user account control and just go ahead and disable the uac hit yes hit ok it will not only disable that confirmation box that pops up when you are applying some changes but it will also disable the restrictions on some of those changes so i highly recommend you to go ahead and disable this one then go back into the pack open up the win32 priority and there is only one that is 26 hex because this is the one that will generally work best for most of the people now i do recommend that you go ahead and test different ones out and find the best one for yourself but if you don't have the time for that then just go ahead and apply this 26 one and it's going to work the best for most of you guys then going back into the back once more and opening up the windows ads and we're gonna be going ahead and basically just disabling all of the advertisements inside of the windows so yeah just double click hit yes hit ok then go ahead and do the same thing for the windows and disable most of the ads hit yes hit ok and you can always go ahead and check once inside of these registry files by just right clicking on them clicking on edit so as you can see it's going to disable the silent installed apps it's also going to disable the system pane suggestions the sync provider notifications soft landing it will be disabled as you can see the d word is zero rotating lock screen enabled will also be disabled and then there will be the rotating lock screen overlay that will also be disabled and the subscribed content will also be disabled so once you are done with
with this go back into the pack and go into the final one that is windows tweaks inside of here you will find the clean temporary file start pad just right click on it run it as administrator press any to continue and then it's just gonna go ahead and delete all of the temporary files that are no longer required by the windows you can go ahead and press any key to continue and then there is the disable delivery optimizations these are gonna mostly help you with the network and the ping so just double click on it hit yes hit ok fix mouse precision so what this will do is basically it's a shortcut to the mouse settings that we generally do with the pointer precision so yeah just double click on it hit yes hit ok and you can always go ahead and once again click on add it to check the credits as well as what this actually does then going into the full screen fix once again it's going to enable the exclusive full screens so just double click on it hit yes hit ok and unpark all cpu cores what this is going to do is make sure that none of the cpu cores are parked you can always go ahead and use other softwares but this is just a quick registry file to do the same thing so just double click on it hit yes hit ok and now that you're completely done with the pack you can go ahead and delete it or even keep it to uh, revert any of the changes that you might want to go ahead and revert in the future so yeah that's basically gonna be it for this video if this helps you in any way shape or form then make sure to leave a like down below so that it can reach more people and help them as well make sure to hit that subscribe button along with the notification bell so that you get notified whenever i upload a brand new video but with that i guess i'll see you guys in the next one until then stay awesome